Hello guys and welcome to Programming Knowledge. In the previous video, uh, we learned about how to create a simple game that is tic-tac-toe in uh, Python Kinter module. Uh, in this video, we'll be seeing about how to how we can create a simple uh, calculator uh, within Kinter. So the procedure of uh, building the application will be similar to that of tic-tac-toe. Uh, tic I'll just show you the code and the certain portions of the code and uh, so let's begin with the initial initial and um, so first of all we have to import kinter provide geometry uh, place it into a variable and uh, provide a title based on your preference you can also use different approaches to it and uh, provide a background to it so i'll just run this much of code and show you is there any error or not so there is no error until now now moving on forward we'll be using text in that is a string variable for the entry whatever we are going to feed within the entry that is for example a number 2 plus 2 or 4 plus 4 divided by 2 or something like that we'll be using that so text in is basically just a text input which we are providing into the entry field and a uh, empty variable that is op operator variable now we'll be creating our fox first function that is the button click function so i'll just tell you what actually is happening within this function so click button with a parameter number so whenever you click a singular button for example 1 plus 2 it is not a single button right 1 2 and the plus button is different so for this basically we are using lambda for each individual button whenever we will create the widget button I'll just show you in a minute and then uh, if you want to show that in a format for example into the entry field 1 plus 2 so you need to show that input into the entry field for that we are using that function by taking the input from the user when the user clicks a button so it is just concatenating two um, inputs given from the user that's it and placing and setting that um, into the operator so the operator here will hold that value so this is the click button function with a parameter number in general for whatever button is been clicked into that calculator now moving on to the next so for each uh, evaluating operators for example button uh, sorry uh, addition subtraction multiplication etc we'll be using uh, individual functions so equal button here is basically used for evaluating whether determining and also determining what is that function it is so for example if the operator is uh, performing or the user is performing some addition operation operation is been performed such as addition so the evaluation of evaluator that is an inbuilt operator uh, uses um, inbuilt procedure for determining that it is an addition operation so here operator will hold that addition operation so that is plus I'll just show you plus so you'll, you'll be not seeing over here what is actually going on but it is being performed so for such individual uh, operations uh, there is an individual function for it for example here this function is for addition right so the eval app operator is in build within python, python and will determine what operation is being performed over there that's it now similarly we'll be creating it for subtraction division and multiplication 
okay dev and sub just let me check oh, okay so it is fine now for multiplication and division now for division or multiplication or sorry division div okay okay so it is almost done and for uh, this function is basically for clearing the entry field and setting it everything to zero. So here just a uh, little SCE button for clearing the entry field. I'll show you in a minute. Now the next is we'll be creating entry field and a bunch of buttons. Nothing much. You just copy this down. The procedure for each and every button is similar. You just have to change the X and Y coordinates for placing the button based on your preference. Division clear and main group. Okay, so I'll just explain you what is actually going on. So, this is the entry field where every input has been taken and this is the text where for taking the input from the user. Now, each button here is carrying an individual function. So, for the function which we have created above, that is the click button with a parameter number we are using that uh, function for each and every button which we are create which we have created here for example we are using just the lambda similarly to that tic-tac-toe game so for each and every individual button that we are using click button with now so for example if the user clicks one entry field gets one as an input and places plates uh, places place that button over there so the procedure is same for each individual button you have five six and etc and for similarly for the operators as well addition multiplication subtraction and this button is for sc this uh, function that is a command clear it will clear the entry field basically nothing much and this equal button will produce the output So save and just run. Let it, and make sure we have done. We have no errors. Yes, we have no errors. So this is the interface. This is the entry view. This is the label which we have created at the initial. I'll just show you. So this is the label calculator. And we are packing it at the top so that is why it is the top this is the entry field which we have created in just above the first button and these are the each individual uh, numbers with the operators and the clear function that's it and the clear placing the buttons based on your preference is up to you you can place it anywhere and uh, yeah i'll just show you some calculations one plus four so this I just wanted to tell you that 1 plus 4 is basically been carried out within this function. So we'll just basically concat 1 and 1 plus 4 into the entry field and just show you that this has been written. And with the help of 
equal button you will get an output so okay we have some error over here so what is the error div okay so div uh, so let's try again one plus four okay so you have five over there in the entry field and uh, let's try clear this out so it is empty now five minus eight let's see some negative outputs yes we have that too three into three nine okay it works five divided by five divided by five, divide by five. So we have an output clear so basically it works so this is the calculator which we have created the approach is almost similar the widgets are almost the same is don't uh, everywhere when you create a widget the position of the button has been changed that's it and test is all the same so this is it for this video guys and thanks for watching.